Welcome back, everyone. So, I'm out here enjoying the the ancient halls, as Joffrey would say, one of his dialogue lines. And uh, these guys are like full contact sparring, hardcore. You two gonna kill each other over there? Or everything cool? Sorry, but I'm too busy to talk right now. That guy's gonna hit Try you in the, the back of the blades. head. Perhaps Roland. Yeah, no Cyrus. problem. You better block that. Good luck. Oh, you got whacked, idiot. They tell you not to let your guard down when you become a blade. Pretty sure that's like number one on the list. Anyways, enough hammering on the blade recruits. Um, I want to show you guys, before we go find the spies, or, you know, go do the part where we're looking for spies in Bruma, I want to show you something that not many people know about. Even people who have played this game a lot. I'll, I'll bet the vast majority don't know about this. Because I didn't know about it to someone linked it to me, and then I checked it out. And sure enough, it's a thing. So what you do is you go to Fort Such. I'm going to start down here at Lord Drads because you want to walk up on it, apparently. Like I said, this could be a total bust. I've heard this is a thing. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, what you do is when the game came... Oh, let me back up here. When the game was announced, Bethesda showed off a demo in which a bunch of Imperial City Guards were fighting... Uh, a ton of Daedra in some old ancient ruins. And everyone was like, that's cool. Why does that never happen in the game? Well, apparently it does. Um, they specifically inserted that demo and that loading screen where you see them fighting and the, the promotional materials. They all go in this uh, area. Now, it's I don't think it's at Fort Such. I think it's by Fort Such. So I'm kind of watching the sky because we just beat... The part where we take the... There it is. The Mysterium Xarxes. And that's when the ramp... They ramp up on uh, gate spawning. Look, there they are. So I p think this is an actual quest to, to help them. It's called Defend Fort Such or something like that. Alright, let's do it. Let's defend the fort. This random crappy fort in the wilderness. Very strategic position. Man, these guys are so freaking strong. It's unreal. Oh. Yeah, there, there's a lot. Holy crap, we are getting swarmed. Are all the guards dead? Except one, which he's dead. Great. What have we walked into? Holy crap. They're still coming out! Okay, note to self. No one warned me that it was going to be this ridiculous. Look at this. There's an army in front of us. Okay. Well, there's only one way we can deal with this many people in one place. Let's use a Varla stone. Let's just bring out the staffs of area damage. Let's do our shock one first. Shock him, shock him, shock him, shock him. It's not going to hurt the astronauts, of course, because they're lightning, but I can probably get... Oh my gosh, one guard ran up and tried to help and just got wasted. I'm just... I'm just spamming this staff until I can't shoot anymore. Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Okay, we burned through all our charges on the lightning staff and didn't kill anyone, I don't think. Alright, 25 frost staff, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the explosion of ice in front of us. And they're still living through it. That's insane. I think I'm silenced right now. Crap. Well, we keep these for emergency. That should help us a little. Okay, I killed some. I'm killing some guys. See, those Atronachs got wasted now. I went to Frost. Because they were Storm, obviously. Oh my gosh. Die. Die, die, die. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got that off. Looks like we thinned them out. What a joke. We need more staffs like this, so if I see any more on some Dramora, I'm gonna nab them, because... 
That just saved our... Oh, I just got paralyzed right after I healed up. Dang. Get up. Come on, Zaki. Wait, I have a way to deal with this. Cure paralysis. Get up. Go back to the shadow. <laughs> Gandalf, the, the gray quotes there. Okay, um, that was freaking insane. So just just remember that if you decide to come help Fort Such, it's uh, it's overrun. Imperial Legion soldier, yeah, dang. Okay, well that that was a lot of fun. Now we got to go in and close the gate, shall we? I won't bore you with the details. From what I uh, saw, it doesn't include any sort of special loot in this particular gate. I think it's pretty standard. In fact, I'm going to repair really quick. Oh, our armor got down to 17. Our greaves were broken. Our helm was broken. That's good. That's good. That only means that they hit us for a little. <laughs> Crazy. Um, by the way, that points out one other little necessarily not necessarily a flaw but one thing you should know about this game if you opt unless you're a mage and you have clothes clothes don't break i don't think but uh if you're a warrior or you use armor and you don't take armor just you're gonna have a bad time you're gonna have to travel back to blacksmiths like every battle if you're a high level it's stupid oh dead dead horse they tried to ride in here that wasn't smart all right we'll take care of this gate or not, we could just get laid on our butts. Okay, we're off to a good start. Here we go. Okay. That freaking Oblivion Gate was one of the hardest I've ever had to beat in Oblivion. Maybe the hardest. If something tells me that we're going to run into stuff that's even worse than that. Alright. That literally took me like 45 minutes. I had to open multiple gates, and there was a maze and an underground tunnel network. This gate is huge. So, anyways, let's take the sigil stone, blow this popsicle stand. What kind did we get from that? I was like looking to see if we get a good one. Fortify strength? Yeah, not bad. Oh, just so you know how these work, there's two enchantments listed. The top one's for if you put it on a weapon. The bottom one's for if you put it on a piece of armor. So, just so you know, so you don't think it does both. Woohoo, let's do it. Nice. Okay. We defended Fort Such. That was an absolute mother. Oh, look. Speak. You're just in time. Thanks for the help, friend. I didn't recognize you at first, but you're the hero of Kavach, aren't you? Yes, sir. It was a privilege to fight by your side. Oh, thank you. Carry on. Carry on. You got some men to clean up around here. Sorry for your loss. Okay, let's make sure we need to repair. I did find another one of those AoE ice staffs in there on uh, on a guy, so that was cool. So, yeah, that's Fort Such for you. It's a little kind of fill-in deal. It's really... Um... That was weird. The fog glitch made it look like there was nothing under the fort. It's really uh, kind of cool. Apparently, if I come at it, I probably should have came at it at a different angle. There's supposed to be more troops, and they, they all engage and fight. Obviously, at our level, they got stomped. So that should tell you that the impending Oblivion Crisis... Playing it on high level, I think, really shows off what a little bit more of how dire the situation is. Because at low level, you know, you're fighting scamps. And let me tell you, the scamps are just terrifying, so... Now that we've done that, we're going to jog back up to Cloud Ruler, talk to Joffrey, and uh, ask him what's going on with these spies he wants us to look into. Doesn't surprise me the enemy is looking for Martin. And yeah, I'm going to leave the gate open because we're going to have to walk right back out here in a second. He's over here in the armory wing, maybe? The east wing's got the armory in it. Yeah, here he is. Armory's down there, by the way. If you want free armor, blades armor, and you're low Pretty level, easy. maybe mid level, it's not too bad. Good work tracking down the Mythic Dawn secret shrine. We finally took the fight to the enemy. I hope Martin knows what he's doing with that evil book. I fear for what it could do to him if he's not careful. We don't have a lot of options, uh, Joffrey, but I'm with you. I need to know about the spies. Ah, yes. I hope you can help. 
The gate guards have reported seeing strangers on the road for the past several nights. Oh, great. I cannot leave Cloud Ruler undefended while my men search the whole mountainside, but these spies must be eliminated. If there's one thing I'm good at, Joffrey, it's eliminating people. I will find these spies. Thank you. Talk to Stefan. He can tell you where he has seen them. Stefan! Captain Bird in Bruma may also be able to help. I've asked the Countess to have the guard keep an eye out for strangers. Track down the spies and kill them. Find out what they know and what they're planning, if possible. Okay. I'm counting on you to eliminate those spies. Oh yeah, those spies are as good as dead, Joffrey, I promise. Alright. Good evening, so, sir. Good evening. So I need to go to, uh... I need to go to Bruma and see what's going on. Now, I just happen to know... There's a way that you can go about this quest. Hey. A lot of ways, actually. Fighting the spies. You can walk around Bruma and ask everybody. We might have to do some of that, but... One thing I can tell you from experience is if you come down here, off the mountain, back down the trail, there's a there's a uh, standing stone, like one of those uh, doom stones or whatever, the Akaviri uh, power-up stones. And if you go there at like 6 or 8 p.m., one of the spies is standing there, and they'll actually attack you on sight. Now, i got to remember where it is. It's, it's down here, and instead of going to Bruma, you go... All right, I found the stone. Let me show you on the map, because these are... Oh, there she is. She's here. One of the spies. Pretty obvious she's Mythic Dawn. Savari, huh? Hey, hey, leave my horse around. Oh, oh and then I hit my horse. I hope my horse doesn't start attacking me. I can't believe that hit him. That looks like a guaranteed hit. Good thing we got him horse armor. Paradise awaits. Get wrecked. Good job, horse. Maybe that horse armor was worth it. The Mythic Dawn agent named Severi Faram is dead. I should continue to search for other spies and locate their base in Bruba. Perhaps I should speak to Captain Bird, as Joffrey suggested. Basement key? Perhaps this is a clue. Can help me locate a Mythic Dawn agent's base in Bruma. Okay. Now, I can tell you from experience, I'm really sorry, horse, here. Let me heal your butt. Okay, all better. If you need to, if you're low level and need a good weapon and helmet, I think this summons the Herstra runestone, summons a, a bound mace and a bound helmet that are really, really good. So if you need something in your low level to fight these agents, I recommend doing that. Now, we're going to do this the quick way. Just because this quest is extremely, can be tedious, it's not too bad, but one thing I'd like to point out is that when you come into town, you're going to talk to Captain Bird and tell him you killed someone, he'll be like, oh, I don't know, got no idea. Ask everyone in the whole town, right, because that won't raise suspicion. But I happen to know that the place we're looking for is on the south side of town, and, uh, I think you can figure out it's this person through various avenues and then tell the captain. He's like, oh, yeah, just go ahead and go in his house. I don't think I have to do that, though. Let me look and see if I recognize the name. History is Tidings, no. citizen. Tidings. On guard, no. Jarl's house. Okay, I'm 99% sure this is the one that we have the basement key for. It purposely doesn't mark what it is. Now, you don't want to get caught. Oh, actually, it says it's not... Um, not breaking the law. That might be fixed with the unofficial patch. I kind of remember in the base game getting in trouble for doing the right thing during this quest, so. Okay, he might be in here. You do have to... Let's use our stealth for good here. Okay, that chest usually has jack-all in it. Now, you come in here and be like, oh, I don't see anything. Doesn't go to the basement. But if you come right here, look. This rug has been pulled, and there's a basement. He might be down here. You have to kill both of them. You can't just kill one. Okay. There's a bed down here. What's this? Mythic Dawn Commentaries, Volume 1. Volume 2. Here we go. Earl's Orders. I found a document in Earl's basement that reveals the enemy's plans. I showed this to Joffrey immediately. The uh, I'll read this really quick. The Master was pleased to hear of your activities outside of Coral. The more gates that we open, the nearer we are to the glorious cleansing. Oh, there you go. So they're sending around agents to perform the ritual that summons the gate. 
The Master has chosen you and Severi for a most crucial mission, a sign of your advancement through the ranks of the Chosen. We have learned that the Septim Air has gone to ground at Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay, so they know he's there. The Lair of the Accursed Blades. The Master has set his destruction the top priority of the Order. And Lord Dagon has committed whatever resources are required. Pending your report on the Septim's activities at Cloud Ruler Temple and your assessment of temple defenses and possible routes of escape, we plan to open a great gate in the open ground before Bruma as soon as possible. Oh, wonderful. Remember, the a great gate? That's what leveled Kavach. Remember, the first three lesser gates represent only the preliminary stages of great gate de deployment. Do not in any way compromise your cover in defense of these gates. New ones can be quickly and easily reopened. And once the Great Gate is opened, the Fall of Bruma is assured. Cloud Ruler Temple cannot stand long after that, and the Septum will be caught like a rat in a trap. We would welcome any further details you can offer concerning the Imperial Agent who rescued Martin from Kavach. But again, we caution you, do not risk a confrontation. This individual is not to be trifled with. You're gosh dang right! The dawn is breaking. Ruma... Wait. Ruma Cameron. We, we killed her. How could she sign this document after she's dead? Interesting. Well, we'll be taking these. Thank you very much. Bruma Caverns? Oh, that's right. There's a thing in this quest where you can go to Captain Bird and he's like, Oh, the Bruma Caverns might be where they're hiding. And you have to go through this whole dungeon to get to this door, if I remember right. Forget that. Right, just forget it. I want Jerl to come in here. We're going to ambush him, all right? Let me get somewhere. <laughs> Not many places to hide in this freaking house. Yeah. Oh, it's a chick. Red guard chick. Duh, hooker. you dead. Basement key, Euro's key, gold. Sweet. By the way, I deposited a bunch of keys yeah, back at Battlehorn, so now our inventory doesn't have 7 million. The Mythic Dawn agent named Earl is Gerald, Gerald, whatever, I, is dead. I should report to Joffrey that both the Mythic Dawns are dead. Okay, cool. Top off our stuff. To Cloud Ruler, hurry. Joffrey. When you what have you learned about the spy? Here's the orders I recovered. Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The gods did not idly choose you as their agent, whatever you may think. But it is clear that Mankar Cameron will soon bring all his power to bear against Bruma. I will warn the Countess of the danger. You should speak to Martin. I believe he has made some progress with the Mysterium Xarxes. Oh, good. Thank you. I will send word to the Countess at once of the danger to Bruma. Good. Yeah, we don't want... We don't want Bruma to get overrun. We need to let him know so he can be on high alert. Alright, Martin, what have you found? I've deciphered part of the ritual needed to open a portal to Cameron's paradise. Awesome. The Xarxes mentions four items needed for the ritual, but so far I have only deciphered one of them. The blood of a Daedra Lord. Oh, that sounds easy. Not. In fact, a Daedric artifacts are known to oh. be formed from the essence of a Daedric Lord, from whence they derive their great power. Not an easy thing to come by, obviously, but we will need a Daedric artifact. <laughs> Bring it to me when you were acquired one. And so you could ask him, just just for you people that are going to do this at lower level, you could ask him, like, Daedric Artifact? I won't ask what you went through to obtain this, my friend. I know all too well the depravity of the princes of Oblivion. Oh? Are you ready to give me the artifact? Remember, the ritual will consume its physical form. It won't be seen again on Tamriel for many years. So, then you can give them whatever's on us right now. Um, now, I've purposely brought a certain one I'm going to give him. Ever, what's cool, what I love about this quest, even though it's simple, is every single artifact, he has a different line of dialogue explaining, like saying something cool in the lore about it. Now, one that I find particularly interesting, going way back to the Daedric Shrine episodes, okay? Um... We talked about, like, some of the Daedric artifacts, certain da Daedra have artifacts from people that weren't Daedra. Like, for example, Periite, the dragon who he had to go get all his followers that were frozen, 
the the god of pestilence and order or not order uh pestilence and um uh what's his thing pretty much maintaining order on nern is what it is the natural order he uh, the one that looks like a dragon his symbols a dragon what's interesting about him is he has spellbreaker and spellbreaker is a dwemer shield so if you remember i was like this doesn't make sense how do dwemer artifacts end up in their hands another thing that doesn't make sense kind of in the same vein is malakath giving you volandrung we talked about that hammer how um one of the great dwarf chieftains threw it and it landed and that's why it's called hammerfell and that's where they settled What's interesting about that is if you hand him Volendrung, he particularly says the same thing I was telling you guys. Huh, that's funny. Why do the dwarves, why does, he basically says it's a mystery why Malakath has a dwarven weapon when they were arch enemies. And I had never thought of that before, but he's right. The orcs did fight the dwarves. The dwarves fought everybody because they just kept to themselves. They made alliances, um... In Morrowind, I think uh, there was one particular thing they made with the Dunmer and maybe the Nords. Or maybe... It, no, they made the alliance with the Dunmer so they could repel the Nords. But other than that, there are no recorded instances of the Dwarves making alliances with anyone. They stood on their own. I mean, frick, they had the best technology and huge armies apparently underground and stuff. But anyways, getting sidetracked... Um, I just thought that was interesting. That Yeah, they lived in Hammerfell, so they did fight the orcs and possibly even the Red Guards. So that's kind of an interesting thought that you never think about, I don't think, the majority. But the one I'm going to give him is Sanguine's Rose, and it reveals something about Martin's past that's really interesting. So check this out. We are going to lose it, wah, wah, but that's all right. Here you go. I ha uh, Here's Sanguine Rose. I never thought to see this again. I once possessed it, briefly, a lifetime ago, it seems now. To obtain it and then give it up, I honor your dedication to our cause. Oh, you're into that kinky Daedric stuff then, huh? Remember our sanguine quest? Having to make everybody naked at the, at the dinner party? Yeah, so I always find that interesting because the whole game, it kind of alludes to like, he keeps telling you like, I used to worship the Daedra and all this stuff. And you're like, oh, who's he going to worship? Like Molag Ball or something hardcore that you find out it's Sanguine, which, I mean, yeah, it's a Daedra and should not be trifled with or underestimated just because he does that doesn't mean he's not dangerous. But at the same time, it's just kind of funny he was into that. So Martin used to be quite the partier, I guess. What else can I do to help Martin? You should talk to Joffrey. He needs your help. Trouble down in Broomer, I think. Already? Okay. Farewell, my friend. Uh, Joffrey, what's the deal? I've just received word from the Countess of Broomer that an Oblivion Gate has opened outside the city. Oh, great. It seems that the Mythic Dawn are putting their plan to attack Broomer into motion. Since you've dealt with these gates before, I'd like you to help the Countess's guard close this gate. All right. Once they've seen how it's done, they should be able to handle any new gates on their own. Hmm. Let's not jump to conclusions. Where is this gate? Captain Bird is waiting for you outside the Bruma City Gate. He'll show you the Oblivion Gate, although I doubt it will be hard to Can find. Can you say gate any more times? Mm, eh, he will show you the gate at the gate Mr. while Bondi you gate your gate. Okay. Stupid joke, I know. Let's go over here to the stables and prepare for battle. Oh, look, he's got the guard out here. Let's do this. Got backup. Thanks for coming. Since we had the Hero of Kavach available, I didn't think it made sense to try this on our own the first time. You're a smart Nord. We're ready when you are. Just say the word and we'll follow you into that hell-spawned gate. All right. Let's go, Captain Bird. Ready, old man. All right. Give me a minute to talk to the men. Everyone's a bit jumpy right now. All right, boys, listen up. We've got to close that gate over there. Nobody likes the idea of going into that thing, but it's our job, and we're going to do it. If we don't, Bruma ends up a smoking pile of rubble like what happened at Kavach. And that's not going to happen here. Not while I am captain of the guard. Boor, Soren, you're with me. 
The rest of you stay outside and kill anything that comes out of that gate. Let's show these bastards how we do things in Bruma. So far, right. so, so far, so good. Look out! Well, that was quite the heroic speech out there, Captain Bird. So far, so good. Yeah, we've killed two Daedra, so I hate to tell you guys there's a lot more for journey's end. All right, let's do this. Okay, Bird. This is no place I ever wanted to find myself. I don't see how we can... No, no, we can do this. We have to do this. We have no choice. Exactly. We're Glad doing you're it. here. We wouldn't have a chance otherwise. What's our next move? Uh, follow me. Lead on. I hope we're almost there. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take the shortcut. Watch this, Bird. All you gotta do is cast this on yourself. Then you swap over to your handy dandy spell book. And you get out your spell called. Where is it? Come on. Hurry up. Bam. Watch and learn. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, your turn, bird. Did you really go. You are such a Nord. Bird don't give a fa. He's here to win. The people of Bruma are counting on me, and I will s jump in and swim across that lava as fast as I can to make it happen. Love it. All right, we finally made it up to the Sigil Sanguius up here, so we need to. Come on, Bird. Let's kick this guy's butt from Bruma. Nice, nice move. Dang. Captain Bird is pretty pretty competent, especially when he can fight one on one with some guys. He's he's pretty good. I don't mind having him as a follower at all. All right, Bird, let's do this. Sigilum Sanguinus. Bird and I have reached the Sigil Stone Chamber. Now to close the gate. All right, get ready to fight like a, a wild animal here, Bird. What the? Okay, let's clear this place out. See anything? Ah, uh, here they are. Have at thee. Or not. Gosh, bird, you just knock everybody down. It's amazing. Get a bird. Nice. We got you going that way. Oh, there's one up above. I'm gonna check this chest really quick. Don't need it. Okay. Let's get a bird. Come here. Stop. What? You know what? You're ticking me. Why don't you get your weapon out? Here, I'll fix that. I'll just paralyze you and kill you this way, I guess. Why did he do that? That was bizarre. He put, like, a poison on his bow. See how it's got the drip mark? He could put poisons on your weapon. So he did that, and then he didn't... He didn't do anything. I don't know if I understand that, but... Okay. Gold... All right, you ready to see how this is done, Bird? It's really simple. You just walk up here and s take this sigil stone, and then please back up and don't panic. The whole room's going to start exploding. Just stand here patiently, and we will be teleported out. I don't understand it either, Bird, but that's how it works. Okay, there you go. Did it, Captain? You closed the Oblivion Gate. We didn't think we'd ever see you alive again. Believe me, it was no picnic, but thanks to our friend here, I now know we can close these hell gates. We can defend Bruma. 
It was an honor to serve with you, sir. Now that I've seen how it's done, I think my guardsmen and I can handle any new gates that open near Bruma. Excellent. You're welcome. We really taught those bastards a lesson, didn't we, sir? Yes, we did. Except you lost a few good men, but... Bound to happen when fighting the forces of darkness. Alright, well... Nice work, we got them all down, and uh... I guess we'll go back to Cloud Ruler and report in. I have good news, everyone! We've stopped the Oblivion Gate. Hey, wait, Joffrey! Good work. Captain Bird and his guardsmen should be able to handle any additional gates, at least for now. But the Bruma Guard cannot defend the city indefinitely. The Daedra of Oblivion are innumerable. The guardsmen of Bruma are not. Amen to that. We need to gather what allies we can before Bruma is hopelessly besieged. If the Mythic Dawn manages to open a great gate here, the city will need a stronger garrison for there to be any hope of defending it. You should speak to the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil, as well as the Elder Council. Ask them to send aid to Bruma before it is too late. What else can I do to help? Martin made some progress on the Mysterium Zarxes while you were gone. You should speak to him about it. Okay. Uh, anything you can tell me about this aid for Bruma? Bruma cannot hold off the hordes of Oblivion alone. Okay, yeah, that's what you said. Thanks, Joffrey. You should speak to the rulers of Cyrodiil as soon as possible. The danger to Bruma is growing by the day. Oh, what's this? What the freak? Martin's been busy drawing some Illuminati symbols on the floor. One thing I'd like to point out in, in, his, um, in the voice acting Joffrey did there, Wes Johnson, I think, is the voice actor. The part, the worst line I think that he di that he does dialogue wise is when he goes, "If the enemy manages," <laughs> the way he says "manages." If you go back and watch that part, if the enemy manages to open that great gate here, like manages, just sounds awful. It kind of, it just, it's, it's like okay, just, just, just talk yourself through the sentence before you record it. I don't know. It's a small thing, but that's always bothered me. And then I was watching. Lefebvre bros play through of Oblivion and they they just harp on the voice acting the whole time because they love the game and that you know they're pretty good at sounding like them and stuff and they always make fun of Wes Johnson when he's Joffrey they just hammer on him I love it anyways okay so I think that'll do it for this episode we have to do this <laughs> this quest now let me let me tell you a little bit about allies for Bruma so allies for Bruma I don't believe it requires you to get everything it's optional. I think the only thing you have to do is maybe talk to the Elder Council. But basically, I'm going to go to every city in the next episode. And they're going to tell me, we can't um, we can't help. We've got our own Oblivion Gates and our own Godsmen tied up in the ordeal and blah, 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 dee, blah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you now. And the next episode is going to start probably with a good series of battles or some battle footage. And how it's going to work is I literally am just going to cut out the middle ground because this quest takes forever. But I'm going to go knock it out because the results of it, I think, in the end are actually kind of cool. They're kind of cool. Not necessary, but kind of cool. So we'll get allies for Bruma. We'll get some help. We'll go close a ton of Oblivion Gates. And uh, then we'll come back and talk to Martin a little more about the Mysterium Xarxes and see what we can do from there.